Hello everybody, it's me, Ember, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock Velveal, the brand new monster in Monsters of Etheria. Thankfully, unlocking Velveal is a pretty simple process that can be completed in a few steps. Those being to collect 5 bell fragments from barrels on Alcos, forging those bell fragments into a bell, and finally ringing the bell at the three towers in Alcos. As I mentioned before, the first step is to collect 5 bell fragments. Unfortunately, how quickly this may be achieved on your end is largely up to how many people in the server are opening barrels and RNG, as not every barrel will contain a bell fragment, and you may instead get cheese, vials, or nothing at all. With a little bit of patience, however, you should eventually be able to gather the five bell fragments you need. There are barrels in many different locations on the map. Although they are most commonly found in town, there are also barrels on the beach, by the power plant, by the lighthouse, and even in the cave that you could try to look through if your server is particularly full of people rummaging through barrels. Once you've acquired 5 bell fragments, you'll want to take those fragments to the power plant. In order to craft them into a bell, you have to be at the power plant. Otherwise, the crafting recipe will not show up for you. Additionally, you will need metal tongs, which can be found in the back of the power plant. Upon acquiring the metal tongs, you will want to go up to the furnace in front of the power plant and open up your crafting menu, where you will craft the bell. Now that you have the bell, there is one more step, being to ring the bell at the three towers, the clockwork tower, the church tower, and the lighthouse. If you ring the bell in the wrong place, you will be able to hear that it has a sort of thunking sound instead of the more melodious chime that it will have whenever you ring it in the correct place. First, let's go to the clockwork tower. Although it may be quicker to reach this tower if you have a flying monster, you could also reach it by going past where the water wheel is. Once you go up, you will want to stand at the front of the clock tower where the doors are. Then, open up your inventory, find your bell, and click on Use. Second off, we're going to go to the church tower, which you can find near the back of Phoenix Gaze Village. If you have completed the snake quest, you may remember this is the place where that quest was initially given to you. However, instead of talking to NPC here, we are actually going to go to the front of the church and to the side, where we will make our way up these stairs into the top. Once at the top, you will open your bag and use the bell, just like we did at the clock tower. Now there is only one more step when it comes to unlocking Velveal, and that is to ring the bell at the top of the lighthouse, where you may have swapped out the lights with a gemstone in order to unlock Daladoodle. Once you are there, you will ring the bell, just like with the other two locations. Now that you have rung the bell at all three towers, you should have just unlocked Velveal. If not, I would recommend making sure that you rang the bell in the correct locations, remembering that some like the clock tower want you to be a bit specific in your placement. I hope that this tutorial was able to help you, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. If you need help unlocking any other monster in the game, I have tutorials on how to unlock every single monster in the game on my channel. Aside from that, thank you all for watching! If you liked this tutorial or found it all helpful, please consider leaving a like, and if you did not like this tutorial or find it helpful, please consider leaving a dislike. With that said, that will be the end of this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!